and hello and in this video I will show how to use the file dialog opening file and saving a file and here I can illustrate the final product so we can open file let's say we want to open a line it's a graphic type I just created my own type of graphics and then it will draw the line and then we can op open another line like that and then we can change it to text and there's a test test text file and it will draw a text and then we can we can save save a line in this in this project i'm using very simple uh, simple um, logic so we can we only have lines so the end point of the line is here so for example i could do 300 300 and let's save that 300 300 so we'll create a new let's say line three line four sorry line four graphics type and this type is by the way something we created in this project it's our own type and i will show how to do that so um now we will save it as a line four and now i will open that line four here the text and the graphics and line four and there it is that line is there so this is the project we will create uh, here in this project i will be creating a simple very simple program that we will we can open a simple graphics file and show the graphics like a line and then we can open a simple text file uh, like txt file and that's it so we will be having two two file type here the first file type will be txt the extension of the file txt and the next one we can call whatever we want let's say we call it graph like that okay so it, for example we want to we, can, we could create one file like uh, drawing drawing one dot graph and then we can open any document we will start with um, control f5 we will start with this dialog uh, application and uh, there's another video where i show how to how to create a dialog project so please go and find that video and you can see the details about uh, of that so let's start from here so here we go first we want to have a two buttons we want to open the file so let's create a button for that like a big button and i can call it open open hmm, open file how about that or oh, just open file okay open file the properties the id button doesn't really matter here what is the id here but i just put here open file and then we're gonna have another button which will be save file we will be saving the line we, we are only saving um, the line if it's a text document we will just uh, throw the text here and if it's a um, line for example we will draw that line here it's, uh, very simple so this one will be save save file saved save as or something i don't know how to call it but something like save save to a file and um, save file there we go we only tell the ending point so for example if i say 10 100 it will be from 00, zero to 10 100 to here so it starts from here here and for example 100 100 will be a line from 00, zero to 100, 100 so we're gonna just create quickly uh, two edit boxes for the for the end end of the line the coordinates of the end of the line so i'm gonna add here two boxes just so that we can we can tell that what kind of line we want and then let's put the static text over there oh, line end 
end coordinate okay so th that's x and that's y let's name them properly so I put here edit um, line x just call it line x and line y there we go so now let's create a message handler for this button so when we when when the user presses the button then it will go to the message handler so just double click this one and it will create the message handler in the dialog dialog class let's go back there control tabulator control tabulator go back and double click this one also so there's a second second event handler so we can put that code over there so now next we need to create a um a variable for for this too so we will put the endpoint of of the line here here and then when we say save file it will take these two values and save that line into into a file to the file so the file will then contain the coordinate of the end of the line when we press that button so let's create the variables for these two it will be a value could be private and it will be an integer uh -huh. integer and I will just call member variable X that's X everything is fine and this one will be Y value private int and my there you go so now we have two variables and um, that's pretty much that's uh, we keep it simple here so those are the only things we really need here so if we go to the h file we can see that the private members are here for the x and y for those two boxes and um, now let's start implementing this now basically if we design a little bit here so we will have two kind of documents we have a text document and we will have that graphical document i think it's a good idea that this project has um, a type for the type for the document what kind of docu document we are dealing at so to do that i will create an enum document type i will call it document type maybe we can put it every we can we can put everything here so this one defines the document time so none means that there is there is not no document at the moment so we are not throwing anything and then it's a text document and line document and then we will create the variable for that like that so there's a document type and we will initialize it by none because there is no document at the moment and um, then we will have um, a variable for the text so when the user opens a file with text txt txt file with text we we will gonna put the text into this variable and then we will draw it from here and these two are, are for the line end of the line so this you could, you could put the comment that end of the line coordinate line starts from zero yep from the, from the origin kind of okay let's go on and start implementing this all right maybe we can do the drawing code first so this is the this is the drawing on paint it goes here when we are painting here we're gonna put our code and let's start implementing this now first thing we need to do here is that um, I will copy I have this code already here so I'm just gonna copy and paste the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna check the document type the current document type if there is no document at the moment then we will do nothing so we will only do something if one of the document is open so we start by um, creating the the 
device context for the drawing like same thing what, what what they are doing here and now dc we can use the dc now to draw draw on the on the dialog box and let's go first things first so um first we will check that if the document is a text type then we will simply draw the text on on the window and the window is the dialog in this case so just like that so we start uh, drawing yeah we start the drawing from the coordinate 10 10 for example so it's near the top left and we're just drawing the text and that's it and next we want to check that if the document type is not text but it's rather rather you know um, if it's a line actually in my original uh, well, I put line but actually gonna change that let's call it graphics that's a better one isn't it because we have two kind of file types text type and graphics type so I'm gonna call it graphics graphics like that graphics okay and then so if it's a graphics type uh, then we're gonna draw that um, at the moment it's only line so we will draw a line simply here at the moment only line lines so we just draw a line there we don't need, we don't need to check what kind of graphics is it it is at the moment we know it's a line so let's just assume that and this is how we're gonna draw the line so we're gonna go we're gonna move the cursor of the line at the zero zero and then we're gonna draw a line from zero zero to x y and that's it that's it I think that yeah that's the drawing code that's it and <coughs> now we need to just um, next let's do the opening first we are opening a file and um, then we're gonna we are gonna open the document and draw the document whatever it is so let's see what we need to do here so we have two type of documents so the first thing we need to do is that we need to um, create a filter for the extension of the file we will be using this kind of so this is the one we're going to learn today this is the mfc uh, class the file dialog class so we can create a, a dialog file dialog object here which will launch the file dialog the file dialog needs to know what extensions you want and this is the way to create the extensions of the files so this is a pointer to a string so we are creating kind of C string here the pointer to the string uh, this is the format that uh, there is the type this is the type and we we, we changed our mind or, well I changed my mind I just call it graph graphics like graph and <coughs> so this is the type of the type of the file and here is the description of the file so I can call it graphics graphics file and the second one is the text file we call it txt and we could add more here by the way if you want you could easily add more like let's say you want to add bitmap file let's say that we want to open bitmap files you could do like this and so on or doc and document document files and so on okay I'll leave it f like this first I will delete these two lines but just to show that it works I will leave them for a moment and the way to create uh, the dialog the open dialog um, class uh, object is like this uh, there is the object and this is the construction function call the first parameter is telling now <laughs> my memory is not very good but fortunately we have this um, we have this tooltip here oh, it doesn't show it doesn't show I'll move it a little bit so this one if it's true it's gonna be an open open dialogue if it's false it's gonna be save as dialogue 
So in this case, it's going to be an open file dialog. So I will put through there. The second one is that what is the what is the default extension when you launch this dialog? What is the default extension? So I think we want to have that graph because we normally open a graph extension. And this will be this is the this is what goes the default the default selection at the moment because we are opening a file so we don't put anything there. I will talk about this later on more. But that's the default oh, default selection. And this is just checking that uh, okay the file must exist. If the file doesn't exist, it will give you an error or warning um, dialog box that okay you can't open this file because it doesn't exist. So yeah. So we are passing that filter over there, and this will defi definitely be the yeah that's the parent window. So we will put the afx get main window will be the dialog window because the dialog main window in this project is the dialog window so this will be the dialog dialog window is the is the parent window okay L let's launch the the dialog next and this is how we do it like with other modal dialogs we say do modal and if the user presses OK in the model, uh, in the dialog, then we're gonna open that file here. And I'm gonna use stdio file to open the file. This is MFC way to read and write files. This is a, this is the most simple way to uh, deal with files in MFC. Actually, if it's a very complicated project, I, I personally would not use the MFC file file reading writing. I would use probably the uh, C++ standard library. But if it's a simple thing, it doesn't really matter here. We are doing just a couple of simple things here. So I'm just using the MFC uh, file functionalities. And let's put the whole thing here. Okay, so so this this one gets uh, when this um, file dialog ends this one returns the file name what you selected in that uh, dialog we will come to that back we will we will come back to this later i will show you and um, and this these are the options um, how we can open the file we are reading the file and we are reading a uh, text type of file we are reading text file that that's what this means because we are we are only creating a text we are only dealing with text files in this project okay okay so now i will create a boolean value here that if it's successful or not because we we might fail open opening the the file and if we fail opening the file we we, we will do nothing we will draw nothing so this boolean flag is only because of that that if we successfully open the file then we will show the document in the window and next thing is like this okay so now we are checking that what type of document we opened if it's a oh, not line but if it's a graphical document uh, then we gonna then we're gonna read uh, at the file in a certain way the format for the document is like this so let's say that this is the file we are open this is the graphics file so the format I'm gonna use here is that the first first line will be the X coordinate like 25 so the X is 25 and the second line tells the Y coordinate like 79 so this will be a point 25 X 79 Y that's simple so that's the that's the logic so so the first line we are reading from the file will be the x-coordinate. For that, I'm going to create a, um, because it's going to be a string, what we are reading from the file. So I'm going to create a, a string to get that uh, that figure. And then we're going to read 
the first line from the file. So we're going to say that the file object read string. This will stri this will read the first line. And if it, if it successfully was able to read that line, then we go and convert it to an integer because these are integers here. Actually, we need integers. We need to convert the string into integers. So the way to do is is that oh, we need to call this kind of function to integer. So this will convert a string to integer. And then we're going to read the second line from the document. Again, we can use the same string over there. And again, we need to convert it uh, to an integer. And now it goes to y. This will be the y. And finally, we will need to tell that what kind of... We just created a new document. We opened a new document, so we need to tell the program that the document type changed now it will be a graphical document uh, dun, 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 this one so the document type will be now graphics because we just read uh, the x and y and now we can say that it was successfully done at this point we know that everything was successfully done okay so it changes from false to true here so here we're gonna uh, give an error message if it was not successful we're gonna give an error message here that failure okay and then we have the other type we have the text type so we need to do else if here if it was not a graphics a graphic type file we will check that is it is it um, is it the text type so we will check the the extension of the file now is it the tech, uh, txt if it's txt it's going to be quite simple what we're going to do here we're going to read uh, the one line what is there it's going to be only one line text that's how we're going to do it we keep it simple so if it's a text type it will only have one line so we're gonna we're gonna read that one line and place that into that um, that string variable. And if it was successfully read, then we will set the document type to text. And then we will say that successfully successfully done. We successfully opened the document. And we can do again. We can do here error checking here that if it was, if it didn't successfully open that file, we can do error error message here. That if this reading failed, then we are gonna just send this message. Here here we are doing the drawing. If we successfully open the uh, the document, we will draw draw the document next. So the draw the document. We will just say that invalidate the whole screen and then draw the screen. Draw the screen. This one. We are opening the file here. This is opening the file. If we go to the documentation of this STDO file, I think it will tell us uh, that if it fails to open, we go here and uh, we go here yeah there you go so we need to use try catch so if it if it fails to open this file it will throw an exception and this is how we need to deal with that exception so we need to put try catch around this this uh, this creation of this um, uh, file object so I'm gonna do that next so we're gonna put the try catch try catch block around that around this object so it will go it will go here we're gonna try this try to open the file i'm gonna put everything around it and then we're gonna do the cats 
cats thing after that if we fail to open the file we will create this error message string and we will show the dialog box error di dialog box there like that okie dokie so aha and this would actually work already because we can we can create a simple file manually and then um, open it and it should draw that actually already let's see if it works I compile and then control 5 run the program so there we go okay and then we will open the file from here let's see if this works and now we can see that we have four types here the the things we just put there as an extension so let's remove these two now because we don't want we don't need these two so i'm gonna go i just wanted to show that we can see all of them here and let's move the remove them now so i'll delete those two lines and compile and then run control f5 so now we can see that um, we have only two of them we're going to read text files and graphical files so i already created here this text file and i will open it will go there and then open and there it is the hello the file contains hello hello there the file has hello um, text so that seems to work now the only problem here is that um, I just found out just now that uh, oh, it should be like that okay so there's the hello but the problem is that if I make it empty make it empty and then I save it like that and let's run it now Let's run it now and um, text and then I try to open that we will get this error message error reading txt type of document and let's go and find out why we get that error because it should be empty now isn't it because if the file doesn't contain anything it should simply tr draw an empty screen well the, r the reason why this happens is that if we go to the text text reading here the text file because if we go to this uh, documentation of this file it's here yeah there it is read read string so there's the read string so the re so the return value a pointer to the buffer containing uh, the text data um, it says that false if the end of the line end of the file was reads without reading any data so in this case what we have here we don't have any data so it will return false so this becomes false and it will go here but logically speaking it's not an error really if it doesn't have any text it's not an error so I kind of have a mistake here so I'm gonna remove that in that case uh, if it can't read anything uh, it means probably that it's an empty file so I'm just gonna set this variable uh, the empty in that case just in case so it's an empty 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 string and then then hmm actually I think it's better to do like this if it if it failed if it failed reading then it will be empty and we will always always um, make it a text document here after this in all cases it will be a text document we can remove those brackets from there like that okay so now let's run it again so we are opening this empty file now and there you go it's drawing nothing here now okay that seems to work how about the um, how about the line now let's create 
uh, manually one graphical file here so new file and I say I call it line one uh, leave it text for text file uh, for now and then we're gonna put um, the coordinates here let's say 100 200 and save and the, and the type type needs to be graphical graphical file I think it was like that yes graph graphical file okay yeah so it should go here and read it read that file as a line so let's run the program there it, there it goes it recognizes the graphic graphics file and let's select that one and there we go so there's the line okay so next thing let's do the saving next so we want to save we want to save a certain line we want to put the end, end coordinate of the line and then save that line we, we want to create a new document kind of okie dokie so that will be very similar what we did here so we're gonna implement it here uh, under the save button so I'm gonna just copy copy the whole code now there's the filter again this time we will only have a graphics graphics um, graphics filter because we are only gonna save graphics file in this case graphics graphics document and in this case we're gonna put false here when we were opening I think it was true yeah true when when you want to have a save as dialog we need to put here false now 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 it's important to put here the the default type here so graphics type is the default type well there is actually only one type so it doesn't really matter here uh, i guess so because it's always going to be the the one and only graphical type if we had more types here then this would matter and then this will be the default a uh, default file we're going to use uh, the default file name we're gonna use when we are saving the file so we could we could call it untitled graph like that untitled graph and then this one means that um, if the file already exists it, uh, the the dialog will tell that hey you do you really want to overwrite this file it already exists I guess we want that so I put I put that there and then again the parent window will be the dialog window and then here we are launching the launching the dialog box and again we are using the SD stdio file object so we will get the file name from that uh, dialog get part name it will give the full full part and file name of the selected file file name and we want to create a file we want to write and the type of the file needs to be text so that's why all these three options together here this is or which means that we are combining these these options and again i i seem to have this successful do we need this here I think we don't need I think that I just copy paste that yeps we don't need that here so I will remove that okay so okay what, what am I doing here yes so here I'm checking that uh, I'm just double checking that it's a line well it, it can't be anything else can it I'm not sure but we it I think it's good to double check here that is, is the extension of the file uh, which was uh, selected as a file name it needs to have an extension graph because otherwise it doesn't make any sense to try to save that line and then we do update data that will that will take the value from those those edit boxes and put those values into these two variables so it will update these two values correspondingly to the to the edit boxes and then we will <coughs> we will create the first string which will be the x coordinate string we will write that string on the first line in the file then we will create the second coordinate 
and we will write second coordinate on the second line in the file and again same thing we need to do try catch if this opening of the file fa fails it will go to the catch block and we will show the error message here the same way let us run this now let's try this save save thing now this is getting exciting now are we able to create a new data file and then open and show it let's see let's just open the the one we have here currently so that one there you go let's create now a new document and this is the interesting thing so i'm, I'm gonna put 10 and 250 so the lines will be going somewhere here and then i'm gonna save this new document let's call it so here you can see the untitled graph the default value what we uh, set there here this one okay so i'll just call it line one save aha it already existed <laughs> i i have the same name so say no let's put number two I forgot that I already had that line one, so save. Okay, it didn't update because I didn't do it like that. So now we, let's open that file we just created. Two. And there you go. So there is that line we just created here. And we can create, let's create another one going like this. So that will be like 250. So that will be a line going something like this. Let's save that. I call it number three. And then let's open that. There you go. And let's open the text one more time. Oh. Ah, yeah, I need, sorry. Yeah, I, so I need to select the text here. And let's open the hello, hello text. Oh, it's empty at the moment, so <laughs> I forgot. So here is that file. So let's say, let's say hello there. Save. There it is. Then let's open the line. There it is. Line three. Voila. Okay. So this one ends this tutorial and um, thank you for watching.